Ooh. Much better. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Guess what I got in the mail. Probably doesn't mean anything to you, but like, it's, I'm super excited for me. Ah! I can't wait to show you guys. Oh my god, guys, I received something in the mail today, and it's it's something that I've been waiting for, uh, like, a little bit, a little while. Yeah, it's just, it's just come today. I probably look like shit, because <laughs> it, like, just happened, but I just wanted to show you guys as quickly as possible. Close that, so my neighbours can't hear me do YouTube. Just get my... Comb my three hairs off my head. Hashtag for great hairline. Anyway, anyway, I want to show you guys right now. It's it's come from Pentel, the uh, company Pentel. And so I received it in the mail. And I, I gotta blur out the thing so you don't see my address. Well, it's not really doing it, is it? Where's a pen when you actually need one? Where's my pencil case? Best art channel on YouTube, guys. Sponsor me. <laughs> Okay, that is not helping whatsoever. My Kovics are failing me. Okay, you know what? Let's just rip the whole thing off. Yeah. All right, now we got that sorted. Yes, okay. So this is from Pentel. So a couple of weeks ago, I reached out to Pentel asking um, if they could sponsor me in my videos. They refused, but it's understandable seeing as I've got like 30 something subscribers. So instead, they wanted to give me a little, little goodie bag, a little goodie box. They're really nice people. They just felt bad and they were like, oh. Let's reach out to this poor little starving artist. No, seriously, um, thank you so much, Pantel, for sending me this little goodie box. It's better than nothing, you know? It's like, oh, I just appreciate it so much, and it's so thoughtful. Yeah, all right, so let's open it. We shall release this box. Ugh, this is huge. Imagine shaving with this. It'd be like, famous last video before, before I accidentally slice myself. Anyway, all right, we shall open this. Eh. I shall try not to cut myself on camera. Ah, just kidding. There we go. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> I have all these saw collections, but I don't have like a big enough parcel to open them with. Ooh, all right, here we go. With compliments. Shut up. All right, what does it say here? With compliments. Hi Oliver, I hope you like these pens. I w I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Now, a lot of a lot of firming wrap and stuff. Ah, oh, I love doing that. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! They they sent me a lot. They sent me a lot, guys. Oh wow! Oh, they're so generous. So I'll pull them out one by one. Some of them are, are lead pencils, and I, I don't want to damage them. Um, let's move my camera down a bit. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we have here Anagel. Anagel? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Okay, so these are the, um, okay, these are the gel pens that are specifically made for left-handers, which is great, because I'm a left-hander. The ink actually dries faster, so that the hand doesn't smudge them. So this is, like, specifically for, for writing letters. Um, alright, I'm gonna get a drawing book. Okay, here we go. So... This is my testing paper, as you can see, I've already tested. It seems like they gave me two of the same, but I'm not quite sure. So these two blue ones, 0705. Alright, I'm gonna test these out. They got, that's cool, they got little, like, um, rubber ball things on the, on the end so that they don't leak on the way here. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Okay, cool. Yeah, great. Seems to work so far. Now these are, these are really nice, um, uh, gliding pens. All right off the, the bat. Oh, okay, the tips are different. Oh, okay, because of the sizes. Ah, oh, yeah, this one's thicker. Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah, this one's definitely thicker. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, all right. So, the real question is, does it smudge? All right, so, I'm going to glide my hand across the paper. I'm going to go from left to right, and um, see if it smudges, so. Hey, doesn't seem to smudge. All right, let's just go on a straight line this time. Me, and it doesn't smudge. Maybe it's specific for different paper, but either way, yeah, it doesn't smudge, which is, which is great, which we all, we left-handers uh, struggle with when writing stuff down. 
But let's try the other ones. So the other ones is um, pink. Oh, pink. Pink is my favorite color. I love it. Alright, that's enough. But yeah, the pink's really cool. And then we have a black one. We all need, we all need a beautiful black. I need to figure out like what to draw when doing these videos. <laughs> right now I'm just drawing swells. No, this is good. Now these, these gel, these gel pens are like really good. And I, I wouldn't like, this is the first time like probably hearing this, but like, I wouldn't really say them, you know, they were gel pens, you know, the gel pens I know are like, you know, like these, like the, the whiteouts and stuff, you know, like these, these pens are like, they're super, like, I would just consider them as pens, you know, it just shows how much I know about artistry and, and graphic pencils and stuff. It's really cool. They sent me 0.7 and a, and a 0.5 for like thin lines and stuff. I might, I might draw something later today, actually. So that's the, that's the gel pens. Now, what do we have next? Alright, let's zoom out a bit. Oh, no, nope, that's zooming in. Ah. Now, what is this? <gasps> oh, it's a couple of eraser. Oh. Wow, they really went all out. Oh, it's, um, refill erasers. Oh, that's so cool. Refillable eraser. Yeah. Okay. They, they have, we have the okay, refill eraser, twist erase, automatic pencil. All right, these are these are for the mechanical pencils um, that we'll be using later on. So that must mean we'll be getting mechanical pencils in this. So yeah, yeah, these are just a couple of eraser ones. This is for I think the eraser pencil, um, the eraser grip um, pencil. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully we get to um, uh, put these in when we get to them. All right, bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. Massive supply of bubble wrap. All right, so here, we have, oh, nice. Oh, wow, okay. So these, I love these. These are uh, pocket brushes. They have the most fabulous tip in the world. They just, they, um, they just glide right off the, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. These are felt tip, these pocket brushes, and they just create the most fantastic lines. Ah, oh, beautiful. I used a, a lot of these as a kid when I was doing the, when, um, you may have seen on my other social medias, but I did a lot of uh, Japanese scrolls that featured um, kung fu movements, kung fu um, style movements. So they would see, it's actually based off um, Avatar. Uh, the Last Airbender, they would um, show step-by-step -step poses of um, someone waterbending or something. But yeah, I, I used this for that because I just thought um, these create the most beautiful lines. They look like they could be made with a brush. That's why that's why they're called brush pens. But these are these are really good. These are really quite something. They're quite something else. They're a great invention. What is our next one? Oh wow. Okay, these these are. The mechanical um, pencils that we we're going to be we're going to use now. These mechanical pencils are quite something. I did some research up, and um, they said they're specific for anti lead breaking, so they're really really strong. I don't know what I just watched. They have a new line of mechanical pens out. Um, it's specifically to stop the lead breaking. The metal tube that the lead comes out retracts, and so it just holds it into place. I'm gonna test these out and um, have a look. Wow, oh my God. Thank you so much, Pentel, for giving me so much. It's more than I could imagine. So these, this one, this one's got like a little, little button here so that like, Oh, yes, baby, baby, baby. Oh, this feels so smooth. Yeah, this is cool. I've never seen one of these before. I mean, I have seen them before, but I've never, like, 
like giving it thought, like giving it like a try. So you just like, oopsie, I'm out of lead. There's some more. <laughs> now this is really cool. These just feel like nice. I mean, I, I've never seen these are so elongated before. I guess I really never gave it much thought because I've had like the same mechanical pencil for like for like so long. Let me get my pencil case and I'll show you which one I use. If I can find it. Pencil case, where are you? Oh. <laughs> it's right next to me, guys. I'm an idiot. So the ones I use are these two. Now, I, these are pretty common. I've seen a lot of artists use these and they, they always recommend how good it is. This one I got ages ago, I got years ago. Um, I don't know if you can see. Wait, wait, I'll zoom in. Here we go. Yeah, so, so these have um, a, l a little window here so that you know that which lead you're using so you can like change it for HB to B and so on and so forth. The tip is really fine, really fine. It's for really thin line art. I love sketching really light with this but the lead breaks off so much so that like you have to control yourself and not push as hard and I'm a I'm the I'm one of those artists that like really like like gets into it like I, I'm holding it that it's cramping my hand so much so I gotta learn to um, keep my sketching light just have a relaxed wrist now but they, these these two are so like really good and I've had these for years about time for an upgrade actually still put these back these these three are sort of like the same these were like the last ones but yeah they're specific so one's 0.7 uh, 1.5, 1.9, yeah, they're just different sizes. They're more elongated than the other ones. It makes it feel so elegant and, and smooth. All right, enough of the pens. Oh yeah, they also have an eraser in the end. I'm sorry if that's important. Actually, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it does the job well, but um, personally, I just use like a kneadable eraser. Um, let's have a look. It um, doesn't put as much strain on the paper as um, as a as a normal white eraser does. See, yeah, um, but that's still handy because when a lot of the times when I'm using my mechanical pencil, the detail is so fine that a kneadable eraser can't get into the cracks. I just use the the mechanical um, eraser on the end, but I, I've always run out of it because I use it so much. Now I've got all these, and, and thank you so much, pencil. All right. On to the next one. This is so exciting. I love this. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? <gasps> oh my goodness. What is this? Next time on Seizure Art. Is this any way interesting? <laughs> all right, we still got heaps to go. Using um, uh, most of these supplies, not all of them, but I'm gonna be There you go everyone, thank you again for watching, this video was a bit different, sorry if it was a little boring. I like showing you guys these things. Please go check out my YouTube channel and go subscribe and hit the bell icon to know when my videos come out. I'm planning to do them every weekend but this one was a little late as you can see, sorry about that. I'll try to do better. If you like what you saw here please check out my other social medias in the description below, there's always something different for each one. Also we have a donations link uh, to a PayPal, that would be greatly appreciated. That's all for me for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.